Good job. Woo! Morning. I'm a bit slow going today. Um, Richard let me sleep in um, because we had a rough night. Uh, Ronan was up at like 3:45, um, and he shares a room with Emmeline, so we didn't really know what to do because she wakes her up. Um, so, kind of broke my rule and took him out, and then ended up feeding him in, in our bed. I was kind of trying, trying to break that habit, but it's hard when you're like tired and you're concerned about waking everybody up. So hopefully it didn't affect him. But lately he's been waking up around like 3.30 every night, uh, crying for a bit and then goes back. So I'm not quite sure. Maybe he's just not getting enough milk. Maybe we're not producing as much anymore. So once he was in our, in our bed, I didn't sleep much because he was kind of not... He had a hard time settling, and then he was just hogging up a lot of space, huh? Huh? Who's that? Play. We're going to go play in the sandbox, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Daddy's outside. But Rich is working on the deck today, and his brother, who's in town, and his friend are going to help him out today. So I really think it's going to make a, such a big difference. Maybe be able to get, like, a big chunk done today. Um, so... We just can't wait to like go outside and play more outside, huh? You looking at yourself? Your yeah. Is that your tongue? Mm. Mm. Tongue. Mm. Where's your nose? Where's your nose? Where's your mouth? Where's your ears? Ears. Where's your ears? <gasps> ears. Where's your eyes? Eye. That's mommy's eye. Where's your chin? Chin. Where's your cheeks? Cheeks. Where's your neck? That's mommy's neck. Neck. Where's your belly? Oh, is it right there? Yeah. <laughs> Where's your armpits? <laughs> armpits. Hold it. Whoa. Don't put it in your mouth. No, it doesn't go in your mouth. It tastes gross. Star. Oh, you put it in the bucket. Huh? The dogs? Look. Wanna try shake? Shake. And shake. Shake, shake, shake. Richard's uh, brother and friend just came over. Um, and I'm going off to get some food. Uh, we're eating food that I really, really shouldn't eat, but like, do you wanna like thank our help for uh, working on the decks. We want to get them food. Um, and the request made is this amazing place that is not healthy for you. So um, just try not, I'm going to try not to finish my plate and I told myself I'm going to have to work out tonight. Um, which kind of sucks because I don't want to but I feel like I have to. We're learning our letters. We're singing the ABC song, huh? Ha. Ah.
<laughs> what's that? Hey. And what's this? Ba. Ba. B. B. C. Yeah. C. And. D. D. <laughs> Good job. High five. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z, or Z, whichever one we're gonna go with. Yay! Good clapping. Can I have a high five? Up top? Down below? To the side, to this side, up top. Ronan, give Ronan a high five. Give Ronan a high five. Yeah, good job. Just put the kids down for a nap. I'm gonna run out and do some errands. Uh, I think I had mentioned a while back, uh, a couple videos back, that there's this community I've joined on Facebook. Buy nothing, and you can basically get some stuff for free. People post things online and kind of get rid of, and then it's a nice little rainbow. Um, and then, uh, if you get picked, you get the item for free. So, um, the issue is, is we always have to like end up running around the whole town picking up stuff. So, I got a couple things to pick up uh, today. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, it can be a little bit of a problem when you're picking up stuff and then you end up just collecting things. But we also try to, we have this rule where we try to get rid of stuff before we bring stuff in. I'll show you my pickups as I go along and pick them up. Pickup number one, a musical toy, which may or may not work, the lady said. Next pickup. TV antenna. TV antenna. Pick up number two. TV antenna. Pick up number three, which is actually something I bought. It's a snack tray uh, for the car seat, which will come in handy during our next road trip, which is coming up soon. Number five, I think. Um, this is a bunch of like, scrap breaking stuff. Um, also, like, for, like mostly scrapping for a baby album, which is what I'm currently currently working on. So, pick up number six, banana holder. We have one, but it's like massive and takes up more count space, and uh, it, just, it always rips my bananas. So I'm just going to post that one on the free group and use this one. I don't even know which number we're on anymore, but uh, seven maybe. Uh, a old playpen that we will use for outside. I'll put Ronan in. The next pickup is a uh, game, um, a toy for Emmeline. This actually surprises me because this is Richard's bidded and he always gives me crap for getting, bringing in toys in the house. But this one's on him. Last pickup. I wish I just had to shovel up and carry from someone's backyard. This gravel, buckets of gravel for our deck. Anyways, I am done. I'm sure the kids will be up now and going home. Don't judge us for the stuff we brought in our home. I'm pushing through right now to make dinner because I'm so tired, but I don't want to go out and spend more money. So we're going to make lentil um, tacos. They're amazing. We did it once before and it was so good, so I'm going to do that again. So this is one way um, I learned on the cooking show once to cut how to cut an onion. So I'm trying to find the best angle. 
to do this. So you cut, if you're chopping an onion, this is, is. So you cut all the way, but you don't cut all the way to the end of this. You just cut about, you know, roughly about here. Um, and then um, when you cut your other side, it just holds the onion together so it's not going to fall apart. So then you just cut away. I suck at cutting anyways. And we also have shitty knives, so when you do that, you just hold it together. And at the end you just kinda cut your you cut your last piece out. This is our pressure cooker I got for my birthday from my hubby. I was so excited. Um had wanted one for so long. Um and uh the quite awesome because you just cook everything and it's got, in a way like a slow cooker where you just kind of leave everything uh pressure cooker cooks food faster um so it's better in in terms if you just don't want to fiddle with too much and you get your food faster than a slow cooker would so right now i have it on the saute option so i have to saute some stuff first um and it gets hot pretty quickly so i'm gonna saute my onions and then I can t put everything else and then pressure cook it. It's all in one pot so I don't have to like use multiple dishes. So, so now I put my lid on, lock it in. It's electric so I have to make sure the venting is closed because that means, basically means the steam's coming out but I want it to be pressure cooked so I have to close the vent. And then I will set it to, I normally just do manual. And I'll do 25 minutes. The book says to cook lentils for 20 minutes, but I always get a bit nervous. I'm gonna go, it's not gonna be done, and then I have to like repressure and cook again, so for a little bit longer. Now it's on, and now you just basically wait for it to be done, and I can walk away. All right, this is done now. So now this is the scary part where you open up and see the steam, um, which I always get a little nervous of. Whoa, good. And then once that's done, it's good to go. Alright, so now it's safe to open. Ooh. Steamy. Oh, perfect. Nice and soft. Now I add some salsa, stir it up, it's a bit runnier than I remember, but it's still good. Lentil tacos. Well, I'm about to go to bed. Um, I'm desperate to go to bed, actually. I'm so tired. That should be my catchphrase. I'm so tired. I think I say it in every single video. <laughs>